Hey, what's up? It's Jimmy from Calgary East and Calgary West Fit Body Boot Camp. So a couple weeks ago I did a video talking about the inflammatory nature of our Western diet and how it causes all kinds of problems having a omega-6 to 3 ratio of 15 to 1. Kids can be upwards of 25 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3. So incredibly pro-inflammatory, causes all kinds of problems. Inflammation is the root cause of most disease in our world. And so it's important to not only reduce inflammation, but increase fats that are that are healthy for us, of course, and are good for us. So it's not enough, by the way, to uh, decrease your, uh, sorry, not decrease your omega-6 and increase your omega-3. In fact, there was a study at UBC done a few years ago showing that just that. Uh, the subjects that did not reduce their omega-6 while increasing their omega-3 uh, didn't reduce their cardiovascular disease risk. So obviously getting rid of the the crap fat in your life all the processed foods the store-bought and salad dressings all the vegetable oils and canola oils and going for the good stuff what we've been eating for hundreds of thousands of years and that includes omega-3 rich fats from fish oil and from grass-fed meat so our Paleolithic ancestors had a little different diet I would say than than what we're eating today of course uh, all of their meat was organic by default and grass-fed by default. Imagine that, what a concept, uh, herbivore eating grass. I know it's mind-blowing to some, but uh, it's true. And by the way, the omega-6 to 3 profile on grass-fed beef and wild game is 1 to 1. Grain-fed is 15 to 1. So getting uh, quality meat sources is very important. Another one is supplementing with fish oil. Uh, incredibly important. Our genome grew up with between with 30 to 45 grams of fish oil per day. So our ancestors would of course eat the, the grass-fed meat, wild game, but they'd also eat fish and every part of the fish. So they'd eat uh, the brains, the eyeballs, uh, they'd cook down, boil down fish, fish heads and have a ton of iodine in that broth along with the magnesium, calcium and the omega-3 rich fats. So, the more body fat you have, the more omega-3 that you need. Uh, Charles Poliquin, one of my mentors, I follow him very closely and have for over a decade now, uh, if you're obese and overweight, recommends between 30 and 45 grams of fish oil per day. And fish oil helps actually turn on your fat burning genes and turn off your fat promoting genes. So those essential fatty acids, the DHA and EPA, our body cannot make. We need them from external sources. And by the way, you do not get quality or sufficient omega-3 from vegetable and grain sources. That is a different form of omega-3 called ALA. And the, the body, the liver, needs to convert that into the essential fats already found in fish oil, the DHA and the EPA, has a piss poor job at doing that. Uh, the research shows only about 10 to 12 percent of it gets converted so you'd be better off having a tablespoon of fish oil than drinking a whole bottle of flax oil. So yes, uh, Carlson's is a great brand, Nutrisy, uh, any of those uh, are excellent and they're going to provide you with that necessary uh, brain food that we all need and, and crave. So give it a go guys, consider a fish oil supplement, eat more fish, fatty fish, and grass-fed meat. Enjoy!